So last night, I camped down here. There were streams right over here and the hot springs over here. So I'll show you, the hot springs were great. It was like taking a bath. Really nice. And I camped up here. The rock's really quiet. There's some other people here, you can see. Right over here, a lot of tenting. There's some locals. I didn't really talk to them, but, you know, see what's going on. If they're even awake. It's really a beautiful area here. It's a beautiful little canyon. I'll do a video when I get to the hot springs. Really lovely area. Do you hear the canyon? So this is the riverbank over here. And then right over here, the hot spring right over down here. I feel like somebody's actually barbecuing. Got some propane. I, I think I just smoke propane. It's a really neat spot. You see here the hot springs coming out right here. And I'm just really waiting for. There's the stream. So you can soak and then hop in the cool water. That's what I did yesterday. Yep, it's a really lovely spot. So down here in the water, there are some gigantic polywogs. And some trout. Look at these trout. Look at that trout right there. But some of these polywogs are just enormous. You can see one right there, right there. There's a whole bunch of them. I saw a full-size frog. I don't know if that's the arroyo toad or... It must be a frog. Huge frog just jumped across here and swam across. And these fish are totally aware I'm here. All the polywogs and stuff. And they're down here in the... They're sort of nestled down in the bottom here. You can see them. Full time of them. Amazing. This is again the Mojave River. There's a bridge right over here. I gotta get some water. I'm gonna maybe I'll stick my toes in for a minute and soak for a second. I'm still pretty amazed at the fish here who are congregated right beneath me. I guess for, I, there must be a lot of fishermen and people come up here and people must have been feeding these guys. But there's at least two types of fish. There's these, what looks to be some kind of trout, brown trout, mountain river trout. I think they're rainbow trout. But then there's some smaller fish. I'm not sure what those are. And then there are the tadpoles, who are kind of scattered. They're a little more nervous than these trout. This is a really beautiful spot. You can see up there is the, the ridge line. Again, it's the Mojave, Mojave River, here in the Arroyo, up in the mountains. Man, I've never seen so many fish that were totally not afraid of me. These guys weren't. And I'd love to tell you where this spot is, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want anyone to come up here and mess with these fish. Amazing. So this right here is, I guess, the Rainbow Bridge over the Mojave River. Got a lot of birds flying around, catching bugs. And I was just down over here in a little pool full of trout. Beautiful. A lovely area. I mean, I love to come up here and do some fishing. Uh, but the thing about the fish over here, I had, they were coming up and biting me. And I could, I grabbed, I put my hand around one of them. I mean, I, I could have pulled those fish out of that stream with my hands. Like they, I've never seen that. They were totally not afraid of me. All this trout. I just don't see people very often. You know? Here, the swallows and stuff. Another great swimming spot. Oh, it looks like a great swimming spot over there. Yeah. Mojave River, mile like 310 or something. So we came down, actually behind here is the mountain that they came down from. Came around, skirted this mountain over here. Now we're back up behind. This is the dam here. It's so weird. I'm just come down into this like industrial area where they have all these big pieces of pipe, but a lovely time of day. I went way too slow. The last section was really kind of boring. It was just really, it, it, it doesn't, add the, the, the elevation profile in gut hooks, for example, does not adequately reflect the up and down nature of the trail, and it was just really monotonous. And two of the water, two of the water sites, two of the water sources, 
couldn't find or they were dry. So I barely made it over with the water I have. I still have like three or four more miles. I think I have about another four miles to where I want to be tonight, which is where I can get water, the campground. It's about four miles. I think I've got about 400 feet to climb too. Well, at least we're almost there. And the trail sort of wiggles its way around through um, this area. It's pretty though. I mean, the mountains over here. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Let's focus. Yeah. So we came. I came from like over in here. So I am. Now hiking around what is um, Silverwood Lake, and it's a beautiful night. You can get the stars up there. No, I don't think the stars come out on this uh, with this video. But um, yeah, I'm gonna lay up maybe a mile short of where I wanted to be. Um, this section around the lake seems like it's kind of a difficult place to find a place to camp, um, and they're really actually in gut hooks indicates that there isn't really any place to camp in here. But there really aren't any good place to even stealth camp. There are, there are a couple of spots I could probably go to camp, but I think they would have been windy. So, you know, there's a little night hike in here. Out in the chaparral. Can you hear the, I think maybe you, can, maybe you can hear the lake over there. The lake's like right there. Anyway, another day it comes to a close. Almost